Welcome to the special show on CNN News 18. I am Vishal Chatkara. One of the finest album of the year is already out and everyone is loving the song Ishq Mitai from the film Chamki La. And to celebrate the film music, we have Mozart of Madras, A.R. Rahman. <laughs> and the students of Mithi Bhai Shit is with us. Thank you. How are you, sir? Awesome. Great. So, do you feel nostalgic after <laughs> looking at the student? And were you a good student? A very bad student. <laughs> That's why I chose music. <laughs> But you remember your school days then? Mm, yes. Do you want to talk about it? No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, talking about then the students, the title track of Yuva, uh, which is very inspiring. And it has that feeling of a movement. Then what is the art of creating um, a song that can bring uh, social change? First, we have to intend that we have to make something very special. So then you go into what are the materials we have to use, what rhythms you're going to use, what sound you're going to use, what melody you're going to use. And sometimes it lands up correctly, sometimes it's a disaster. <laughs> You have a movie coming up called Chamkila, uh, which is which is based on the life of Amar Singh Chamkila, who was a Punjabi singer. What was the first thought that came to your mind when you signed Chamkila? I think for ages I've been wanting to do a Punjabi album uh, because of my uh, the Nusrat influence on me and the Punjabi songs he had done, Kavali's had done. So I fell in love with the language. And then I discovered Sukhwinder Singh and you know all that history and we had fun. So when he came and Imtiaz Bai came and said, I want to use, I want to do Chamkila, which already eight years back somebody else said they wanted me to produce the movie. Can okay. you do, you should do, you know, Chamkila and, and of course I did 99 songs, I did La Masque and all yes, this stuff yes. and this came back again. So we were sitting in the same place in the studio and Chamkila already has songs, um, so why me? What are we going to do? So, and then we just jamming on it, and felt like, oh, we could we could take the composer's point of view, the director's point of view on his life, and create songs about him. Other people are singing, almost like a Broadway musical, you know, so like then, like Maria and sure sure. And so, but a very Punjabi way. If you if you watch the next song, Baja, you'll understand what we're trying to say. Yeah. Like I said, it's based on the life of Amar Singh Chamkila. How much did you know about his life, and how do you now would like to describe him? I think in every kind of time period, there is an outlaw. <laughs> There's an outlaw. If you take uh, if you take Bruce Lee, he was an outlaw, and if you take uh, Hendrix, he was an outlaw, and so if you take uh, Superman Bharti from South India, he was an outlaw. In the sense, they they did rebellious things. Bandit Queen was an outlaw. Okay. <laughs> so if you take in music, he did all the stuff which was uh, against the system. Against the system, and not that the system didn't know about it. He brought out you know the that stuff, which brought a lot of happiness to all kind of people there that at that period. But in our society, of course, they they come out and say that oh this is bad, and they go listen to the same thing. So. So this is a kind of revolutionary character, and in a way, he was very puritanical. You know, if you look look at the movie, you learn in certain scenes like he's so naive, but he wants to do because people are liking it. So, not for the music. No, he wanted he wanted to bring joy to the people, okay. like what other people would fail to do. He he did that stuff, and yeah. So I didn't have to deal with vulgar lyrics or everything because the songs were already made. So we made songs about his life, about what he was. 
about the influence of his music in the society and the characters and stuff like that. So, you have a very uh, auspicious association with Baba Bulle Shah. Yeah. The example is the song Chaiya Chaiya. Have you used any of Baba Bulle Shah couplets in Chumkila as well? Surprise. <laughs> How did you know that? Please tell us now. That's please. obvious. No, we've used the word Baba Bulle Shah. And uh, I think also for the blessing. And whether whatever community they are from, they have respect for Baba Bulesha. And I think what's nice about saints, uh, whether you take Kabir Sahib or Baba Bulesha or Rumi, um, Hazrat Amir Khusru Ramatullah, there is a kind of blessing uh, hidden in it because it comes from a very blessed place. And um, even when I feel like I, I'm completely in a rut where I can't get a tune, when you use words which are special, when you use dohas, it opens up. You know, the, all the stuff, all the blocks open up. And that's one of my secrets. I let, let it off now. Yeah. Keep this. Nobody here. <laughs> so, sir, at this point, I have your fans here from Miti Bhai Shetaj. They have some questions to ask and they have prepared a performance. They want to sing their favorite song. It's a gift. Oh, right. To you. Yeah. जो देश है तेरा स्वदेश है तेरा तुझे है पुकारा ये जो बंधन है जो कभी टूट नहीं सकता ये जो देश है तेरा स्वदेश है Who wants to ask about today? Somebody has a query. Yeah, please. Hi, sir. My name Hi. is Kirtan. So, my question was I wanted to know how have you made the song Pal Pal Avari about Ram Leela? Mm. How I made it? Yes, sir. Uh, so, in Swades, this whole musical theatre kind of thing happens. <clears throat> I wanted to go very traditional on the... In fact, actually, I was about to go for Hajj and I had to do the song. Yeah. So, I was going from Mumbai and I, we recorded the song in one of the hotels, in President Hotel, I think, in a, in a hotel room. So, it has a bit of John Puri and beautifully written by Javed Saab. Yes. And then I love working with Ashutosh because he's so musically involved. Even if I throw out a tune and say, no, 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 don't throw that tune. I want to use that as an interlude. So he's fully in. And you can see that when somebody like that who appreciates every bit of your artistry, you want to give them the best. And so we were, we are a team where we when, when we do songs, we feel like it's not work. There are no deadlines. It's just we are enjoying the process, and you can see that in that song. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, sir. And it's a dedication to Ramji. This one. Thank you. Thank you. So talking about ये जो देश है मेरा which they just have sung, you know, uh, in that you have used Chennai. Yeah. What inspired this decision to use Chennai in this song? I personally feel we out of habit sometimes certain things get um, typecasted in certain things and. If you take Nadaswaram, Nadaswaram is an instrument which is played in weddings, in temples, but there is a sense of kind of racism in that. Okay. That is such a majestic instrument which can shine even like a trumpet. It's a royal sounding instrument, but out of practice it gets sidelined into this is what it should be. Same way in Chennai, if you take, it's not just for, you know, there are stories about Bismillah Khan Sahib, you know, when he used to walk, people used to take the mud which he walked and take, put it on his head, wow. their heads. So that is the kind of respect they had for, I mean, he's the inspiration behind that bit. And I had a meeting, uh, I think at that point of time he came for a show in Chennai. I in, invited him to the studio, he came, he spent almost half a day with us. So. That is one of my favorite instruments. Even when I was playing in the studios, uh, there was a player called Subhan. Okay. 
and he used to play for Ilera Jaji and other people. And and in fact, I bought an instrument thinking it's a Shanai, it was a Mugavina. <laughs> and I started coughing. Okay. So it was not my instrument, but uh, there was an affinity towards that instrument. And so it just culminated in the song that it had to be there. And then I think Ashutosh might have taught, and I listened to one of his interviews recently, and he said, I was very perplexed when I heard Shanai in this thing, I don't know why I are used to it. Then I understood what he meant. He meant that, you know, the main character is marrying to the country. <laughs> I said, wow, that's a great <laughs> interpretation to that stuff. Yeah. That, you know, there's a marriage between the person and the country. Yeah. So nice, nice. Uh, you want to find meaning there, you can find a meaning. Yeah, yes. thank you. Yes. Now, the next song you're going to sing for is Raman, sir? Yes. yes. power of human voices, you know, it just moves you so much. So, so, uh, I had actually heard that if you shoot with your friends, so from that point of view, it's just that you just shoot with your friends, Ali sir, and that song has a special relation like uh, the... Uh, Dil is... Dil is that means that kuch phrases. Like, it's just that shoot with your Dil and your mind in the middle of the mind. It's song ka interpretation of that So, ye, <laughs> Actually, the song was not made for. It then shoot the the visuals to the song. Okay. You, you know that. Hmm. I made another song which Imtiaz loved. Everybody loved. Even Deepika loved. I believe. Yes. She likes that song better than this song. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and I personally felt like when I listened to the soundtrack, this was I think the last song. Yes. And uh, Tamasha and I was like, there's no hit song in this one. Mm -hmm. Everything is freaky, everything is experimental. There's no song which which people can sing again. So I told Intias, I don't like the song. Can we do another song? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I've already shot it. So good thing I saw that you don't have a lip sync. Yes. So I'll try to match that one. So I did another song. Okay. This song actually was uh, um, uh -huh. it was another very classical kind of song. He liked that. And I said, this is very classical, people are not going to sing this. Mm -hmm. So let's make something which is, could be not just for the movie, but even for people's lives. You know? okay. Almost like, lean on me and I'll take care of you. You know something, very simple like that. So sir, you all decided this before or then the song? After shooting it. Uh, okay. He saw the video. I saw the video uh -huh. and I felt like, let's do another song. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> and so this is the third attempt. Then I finished the song. Then I said, I'll do another one. I said, no, no, stop now. <laughs> <laughs> so, but this one kind of clicked because I think Irshad comes with beautiful words and it's not cliche. It has this more poetic sense of it. And, and this is something which you can listen to it and not when you're sad or not when you're happy, in even in a car where you feel good about. I think the most important thing about songs is increasing your compassion and humanity so that it makes you human. And that's what I think certain songs do, certain lyrics do. So one guy was shouting, Moya, Moya, Moya. I said, what is Moya? <laughs> Moya means water. That became Maya, Maya. Okay. <laughs> 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 
That's the most holiest, that's the most most important word in the holy book. And it has to be done with so much of respect. So I said, don't worry about that. I'll take care of my word. I'll do that. So I took the word and then we were Javad Ali, uh, I think Madhushri, myself. We were on a harmonium in my office room in Pawai. And we were just jamming, just recording. And then in between I said, okay, let's take this and I was singing this and it was like a 25 minutes of a long jam session. And then suddenly, you know, this song starts in Bhairavi. And uh, but you don't see the Bhairavi in it at all. It's more like a major. It's a major thing. Bhairavi comes there. So it's it kind of must. So I love to exper experiment with Bhairavi a lot because um, I did a workshop with uh, El Subramanam Ji where one of his pieces, Conversations, that inspired me so much on his solo, the solo he played. And in the way he has interpreted Bhairavi and that is beautiful. So uh, that changed the way I looked at the Bhairavi Rag so much. So it's outcome of that kind of a vibe which then I send it to Imtiaz and he was not there at all while making the song. He was remote, he was shooting already there. So he made the song, send it to him and yeah. But you always love Kawali. You also did one in Bombay as well. Can I kya? And the, the, uh, that's Mani, Mani Ji's idea. He said, because I was listening to the stuff and he said, can you do that kind of thing? And I said, where am I going to go for the singer? So I kind of mimicked Nusrat uh, <laughs> Sawar. Uh, really? Kind of. And then they said, who sang that? I said, I sang it. I'm going to change it. I said, don't change it. <laughs> so he was like, don't change it. I like it. I said, okay, look. It will be 30 years to Bombay next year. What is your most cherished memory of working on Bombay, on the Bombay music? I think it was a, at that point of time, you know, we see pain now more. At that point of time, any kind of incident, any kind of a, uh, society when it goes through a bad phase, it's very dark, it's very apocalyptic for us, right? Oh my God, this is going to be, and now it's become a norm. Every day one disaster happening, <laughs> people dying, children being slaughtered, and we still have to smile. We, we can't forget to smile, and that's what keeps the world going. 
so it had a very deep kind of a in all of us in money money ratnam ji me and so it's a result the bombay theme is a result of the empathy and and the antidote for at least musically that was it so was that the uh, track that took maximum time to compose uh actually no i think all the stuff came no actually what happened was uh i had this micro composer and i used to compose on that it had a floppy disk okay and so i'd compose something one of the songs completely disappeared but it all we have to back up it on floppy disk right yeah yeah and uh, so maniratnam comes and i'm i'm telling him like sorry I said what happened your song disappeared i don't know whenever i program this it it, it wipes out so you're telling me my film is jinxed <laughs> so no 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 not to be that <laughs> it it just happened so give me some time he was under a lot of pressure at that time because he was on the hot seat <laughs> but working with him is always like nice okay. we probably hear a, a song of bombay in airman's voice after the towards the end of the conversation i will tell you i'll give you my concert tickets you can come and <laughs> 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 grand <laughs> yeah but uh, probably they'll nudge you sir but sir the obvious question you know ai is a buzzword today and yeah. it's taking baby steps how do you see the role of artificial intelligence in the music making process and do you think are are there people who are going to lose their job because of ai it depends on the employer if the employer is a cruel person <laughs> he wants bad karma he is going to take ai and make people lose their jobs and get all the curses if the employer is a good person he is going to say i'm going to give ai to all my people and they're going to shine more they'll work faster they'll do better quality stuff but do you see it is replacing a good replace singers no 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 you know because i think the human voice 90s when i bought the sampler the first sampler i think 86 i bought my first sampler called s50 and the strings and the the sound of that was so good um that it it made us do things which we could not do with that ordinary orchestra at that time okay then the orchestra and the people how they evolved their uh, expertise on the instruments have now evolved so much that every little sound is different right when you play a sample it's the same thing it's like a dummy going again 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 without any feeling so there will be, the human touch is always the best and the more uh, all these things come in the humans will rise up there will be always a david in the goliaths <laughs> correct me if i'm wrong you know although we have many composers in the country and many singers do you think we need more lyricists more songwriters do you think so there are a lot of lyricists i think people are afraid <laughs> people are afraid there are many composers also coming out the younger people great producers coming in i'm saying but now how i don't know whether they'll take the pressure of when when you have a pressure of a movie um doing a song people get insecure if, three times if you don't get the tune fourth time they feel like oh my god it's not going to happen and i've i've taken money on interest 12% and what is this guy doing so we had to look at all this stuff that's how the industry works and uh, the la- the the more late your work happens is selling on one house by one house so, so that is the now also, <laughs> yeah. now also happen now it's more corporatized i think not everybody i still things like that happen still people have that thing they they take money for interest so the speed is very important and even though it's a small thing a song but it could delay the whole schedule yeah. so that pressure is put on the composer and the lyricist to deliver you know i've taken parvasundari you know amitabh bachchan is one of the amazing intelligent lyricists Lyricist. and he can come up with words like that and then when has a team and you're sitting sometimes the tune took probably 3 4 iterations the lyric took probably around 6 to 8 months to get the hook wow. all the hooks were good but we were waiting for a greater hook and uh, i think that's that's the weight which also gives results like that so it becomes a song where the whole nation sings it's everything is ironed out and that's the patience of the lyric writer the team the director the producer dinu like yeah all the stuff yeah the man sir your songs take people to different places where they have not visited your music inspire people is there a song or are there any songs that perhaps inspired by 
either you met someone or you heard a sound while traveling across the world you that you ended up using in one of your compositions yeah i think i've given this before like i think once i was in a pilgrimage and the one guy was shouting moya 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 i don't know what is moya <laughs> moya means water i said oh, this is a catchy thing i was in jot it down on that that became maya maya okay <laughs> <laughs> so so sometimes you know sounds inspire you and then you change it to your own thing and you have to be like a child there and if you think too much you lose the quality of a, you want to make people forget that the adults with all their problems and they want to go back to their um freedom you know when they were free and they were kids and they had parents all that stuff so in a way we are kind of time traveling through the sound you make them go well on that note i want to thank you for taking time out and talking to us and i want to thank the students here of midway college thank uh, you and looking forward to lots more chart bursts from you sir thank, thank you. you so much kind best thank you sir. bye wishing you all the very best thank you all the best